by Baris Pascal. It was a box with eight movable wheels called dials. It was used to add, subtract, divide, and multiply the numbers as big as thousand. With this calculator, German mathematician Gottfried Wilhelm built a calculator called Leibniz calculator in 1671. It it could add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers. It consists of a set of terms called Leibniz wheels. Backward loom. Joseph Marin said invented the power loom. It was backward loom to move in eighty words. It is used to punch wood card to automatically save details better. It consists uh, as a first fleet only with memory device. Difference in the Charles Babbage, a mathematical professor, designed an automatic machine calculator in 1822. It was used to perform complex mathematical operations. Analytical engine. Analytical engine was designed by Charles Babbage in 1823. It could prepare mathematical tables. Charles Babbage is widely called the father of computer. Pillar logic. George Pillar designed the Pillar logic. He became a fundamental principle of designing computer circuits. Thank you. Thank you.
special keys. Special keys. Special keys is used to special keys used to do various things. Backspace key. Backspace key. Uh, backspace key. Is, backspace key erases the text before the cursor. Delete. Uh, delete key. Delete keys are. Uh, delete keys. Uh,
is a control key. A keyboard has two control keys that perform special operations and behaves with other keys. Simple keys. There are simple keys. It is used to add punctuation marks and other symbols by typing. Second, EP ROM. 
erasable, programmable, read-only memory. In this memory, data can be erasable by the ultraviolet light. So, uh, third, double zero. Electrically erasable, programmable, read-only memory. In this memory, data can be erasable or rewritable information uh, and by the electrical signals. So, uh, second is RAM, random access memory. In that, uh, uh, the information can be read, write, or change data and instruction with the help of electrical signal. So, uh, second thing, secondary memory. Uh, secondary memory is also called uh, backup memory. Uh, in that memory, uh, means for healthy primary memory, we store data and instruction uh, it for, uh, but it cannot uh, store data and instruction for a long period of time. So, my friend will tell you about uh, types of secondary memory devices. There are so many types of secondary devices like CD. Uh, it can store 600 to 750 MB of data. DVD, it can store uh, 4.7 GB to 8.7 GB of data. Uh, it is a pen drive. Uh, it, is a, uh, it is popularly known as a flash drive. Uh, and we can put it in a USB port uh, in the CPU uh, and uh, it can store uh, 1 GB to 2 GB of data. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Our project name is Introduction to Internet. Internet is the biggest network of the computer in the world. It connects the millions of computers by global by the cables, telephone wires and media of the communication. The network is created to share the information of the facilities communication. Now my friend Swara will tell you about the communication. Thank you Sandy. Communication. Internet is the biggest medium to communicate with people living in five of places. It provides services like email, email chat, program, program, programs, instant messaging, and video cons uh, video conference. Now my now my friend Rashi will explain you about software. Start. Thank you, Swara. Software. The software which we need is the browser. The browser will help to access web page and display on the computer. The most common used of web browsers are Microsoft Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, and Google Chrome. Now my friend Rujuta will tell you electronic banking in short form e-banking. Thank you Rashi. Electronic banking in short form e-banking. E-banking is also called online banking. It allows customers to conduct financial transactions on the same website. Using e-banking, any inquiry or transaction can be proceed online without visiting to the bank. Now my friend Sanvi will explain you searching information. Thank you Rujita. Search information. Search engine is created to created to access the help created to access the helpers to share the information. It, it is the easy task to searching the information. Now, my friend Swara will tell you about the online reservation. Thank you, Sandy. Online reservation. Online reservation is, is used to book the airways, railways, and bus tickets, city and home. Now, my friend Rashi will explain you email. Thank you, Swara. Email is the fastest and cheapest means of communication. Email is the we can send one computer to the another uh, that computer that can contain picture, text or sound. Even most of the uh, company offer an email account for free 
of course now my friend rujuta tell you about online education thank you rashi online education online education is also known as e learning it refers learning or teaching on the place of computer or internet it allows you to study on your place now my friend sanvi will tell you about electronic conduction thank you rujita electronic commerce short form e-commerce e-commerce is used to selling or buying the online products it is it is available in to the 24 into 7 now my friend swara will tell you about the advantages of email thank you sanvi advantages of email cheap transmission of messages cost nothing now my friend rashi will explain you explain you about so first of all start thank you swara was ready message you send that may contain text picture audio or video start thank you all Computer. Computer is a smart machine that works on IT cycle needs input processing. How? Some features of computers are speed, accuracy, versatility, diligence, storage, and reliability. There are five generations of computer. Now I am going to explain the first generation of computer. The first generation of The first generation computers were used between 1940 and 1956 and arrangement of vacuum tubes were used in these computers some features of first generation computers are they were heavy and large in size and they were also very expensive and slow now i am going to explain the second and the third generation of computers Now I am going to explain the second generation of computer. The second generation of computer is used between 1956 to 1964. In these computers, transistors were inserted. The features of these computers are they were cheaper, smaller, and faster than the first generation computers. They were inputs were given in the form of punch cards and paper tapes. The now. I'm, now I am going to explain also the third generation computers. The third generation computers were used between 1964 to 1975. The integrated circuits were used in the these computers. The features of these computers are they were smaller, cheaper, faster, more accurate, and could ex- excrete the type of applications and were known as general purpose computers but now i am going to explain fourth and fifth generation fourth generation computers were used from 1975 and are still used microprocessor are used in these computers features they are smaller cheaper and faster than third generation computers they are used at homes and offices fifth generation computers fifth generation computers 